Hi, today I want to look at some effects that we can do on the spatial mesh. If you've used the default um, spatial mesh materials, you're either getting like very plain white wireframes or maybe some colors based on distance. Um, but if you look in the store, the apps that um, use spatial mesh, they, they tend to do some really cool effects. So I'm going to start today looking at um, uh, a package that's available in the Unity Asset Store. It's the HoloLens Shader Pack by Roland Smink. It's 2750 and it includes um, a bunch of different materials that you can use to do some really cool effects. So um, I've bought this package and imported it into my Unity project. This project, I've just created a very basic scene. Um, I just have the Mixed Reality Toolkit in here. And so I've just dragged in the HoloLens Camera Prefab the Spatial Mapping Prefab, Input Manager Prefab, and Default Cursor Prefab. Um, and then the only change I've made is I've come into Spatial Mapping and um, I've added this Spatial Mapping Calc Normals component that comes with the shader pack. Uh, just dragged it on. And then just to speed up uh, testing them out, so I don't have to rebuild for the HoloLens for each material I want to try out, I've just dragged in the file surface observer script and I've gone open file location and I've put in my office.room file which is basically a scanned in room that I've done previously. You can see how to do that if you look back at one of my earlier tutorials on spatial mapping. I've just got a script in there that you can load into Unity and you can uh, click to save and get an office room file. So I'm just going to hit play. and I'm just going to hit L to load my mesh. So you can see here, this is the default. This is the white mesh that uh, comes with uh, the spatial mapping prefab. Uh, it's a bit hard to see uh, in Unity because we're not standing in my real space where I am, but I'm in my office here. So uh, let's have a look at some of the materials that come with the pack. So let's start with uh, fragments. I'm just going to drag it on replace my surface material and then reload my mesh for that take effect. So that's kind of cool. It doesn't put um, a big grid. It just puts little little crosses in my environment. It's not too bad. It's kind of subtle. Uh, let's look at holodeck. Hit L to reload that. Cool. That's very cool. Uh, so it's a bit more obvious. Uh, I can see now I'm in my I'm sitting on my office chair and that's my door to my office out there. And it's done a pretty good job of making a, a, the flat surface there. Let's look at multi-grid. Hit L to reload. That's pretty similar to a lot of the apps that we see in the store. That's kind of cool. And quads. So this one's got some animation effects. Uh, that also looks very cool. And squares. L to reload. Again, this is another familiar one that we've seen in a few tutorials and apps. It kind of looks really cool. I like that one. And triangles. Okay, and that looks really cool. Okay, and, and it has some other features in this um, pack to actually turn on some pulsing effects, basically watching where you gaze. I didn't find them uh, that useful. Um, it seemed to... Um, kind of fade out too quickly. Uh, so I don't know if I'll use the, um, the gaze based ones, but I kind of like these, these default ones that come. That's it. Cool. Thanks.